What's good, everybody? Today we're going to be checking out, customizing, and reviewing the Banshee, particularly the one that you can customize at Benny's. So, without a further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the Banshee isn't cheap. It's not expensive, but, uh, yeah. You'll have to pay another pretty penny to go ahead and upgrade it to a Benny's version. Of course, it's worth it because you're going to have a lot more in the way of top speed. Uh, so, let's see what we got in store for us today with this banshee first up we need to find ourselves a paint job uh i'm wondering if i want to go classic or if i want to go metallic i'm thinking and eh, we'll see but i am thinking about going orange <clears throat> these are nice though they all mix well with that black uh stripe uh, th uh, this is based off the dodge viper particularly the uh the early 2000s to 90s version of the Dodge Viper. Obviously, this uh, this car is in story mode as well. This is an OG car. Uh, this particularly, this version right here, the Benny's version, this isn't a uh, story mode, but you know, the car itself originates from story. It's also been in a lot of Grand Theft Auto games, such as uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and I think it's even in one of the story games, like uh, Vice City Stories or San Andreas Stories, one of those. I feel like it's one of those that are in uh, the Viper's in, particularly the, the name in GTA of the Banshee. Uh, so what, let's see here, kind of talk about what we're going to do for the interior. I don't know if there's going to be too much to do with the interior, but we're going to find out later. Oh, ooh, that's cool. You could do that, but uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the top on. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the orange. Yeah, let's go ahead and get. Hmm. I think, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. Could go carbon. That would look pretty cool, but do I wanna do that? I'm not quite sure. Don't she look pretty? I think I'm gonna stick to. Sh like, yeah, and uh, we'll see later, though. Once we get an idea of what we want, of course, I'm gonna go all black on this because my uh, idea I already have my idea off the bat and that's gonna be black and orange obviously primary orange and then black accents ooh that looks really good you know the stripe in the middle does look a little strange but because I made it matte black but it does look good to me I, like I like it of course you here's the here are the vinyls for you to see so you guys before you purchase you can see what the vinyls look like and all that they're pretty okay. I mean, they're not that too. That's some like EDP, whatever his name is. It's all right. <laughs> they're all right. That one, I like that one the most, honestly. The one that's just all over the place. It just gives it a more racer feel. But then that one stripe down the middle, which is already stock, you get that. Uh, that looks good too. Of course, uh, the top ones, uh, you can get, you know, the name across the uh, side very racer of course there's kind of a shopping list at the bottom there with some of those we'll go for uh, that one and for headlights well do we want to go xenon yeah i'll stick to xenon Ooh, we have ornaments in this interesting enough because most of the time when you uh pick up a benny's eligible vehicle it's usually like a low rider uh but this thing has ornaments pretty cool reminds me of far cry uh, particularly far cry 5 where you can like get these little ornaments and stuff yeah they're, they're a lot cheaper though and some cars are free uh, okay so obviously we're making a racer so i'm gonna go carbon and we're gonna deck these uh doors out we're not even deck them out we're gonna strip them completely as much as we can and keep that primary color and for the seats hmm interesting Obviously, I want to go for a racer. So, ooh, that's interesting. I don't see that happen too often where the seats change like that. So, definitely going to get one of those bigger ones because the Viper, you know, I want to. I want it to look a little bit menacing in the interior, even though people are not really going to look inside the interior. What not? You know, I see it, so I'm going to change it to what I want. Uh, for accents on the dials, I'll go a crit like a dark orange, and. Uh, See what else we got here. What camera view changed? Okay. Well, 
We're gonna change. We might change the horns. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change the horns. Just for this car. I, I find myself doing this a little bit more just because of the fact that like some of these cars I just don't feel like the horn matches with the vehicle. Uh, I want something that like sounds racer but sounds menacing because this is a Viper so... For the tails... You know the default probably looks the best but I do want to customize this thing out a little bit. I can really customize this thing. But the stock uh, fin, that looks really good, like, no doubt about it. But I'm going to go for this one. I could go for the black, but no, nah, it, it wouldn't make any sense because I haven't decked out the uh, skirts to be carbon, so I'm going to leave it with that. In. And that looks good, too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Eh, sounds okay, but then again, we're inside here, so we won't really be able to hear it until we're out there decently well, I mean. Go ahead and get those. And I always go through this a little bit slow, not too fast, because I want you guys to be able to see these, these customization options for these vehicles, so you don't have to buy it and uh, have buyer's remorse, that's what this is all about. I go at a certain pace so you guys can be able to see all there is to these vehicles when it comes to customization. So the next thing, obviously the exhaust, we gotta change those puppies up. Those look good. But, ooh, that's a little bit too much, but I like it. It's, like I said, like I'm going for a menacing thing here because it's the Viper. Also, I had a, <clears throat> for those of you who play Need for Speed, uh, one of my favorite Need for Speed games was Need for Speed Pro Street. Of course, no, it's not my favorite favorite, but uh, it was one of my favorites. And in that game, man, you could go through the, uh, these, uh, there were these types of races called, uh, I think they were called speed races, not sprints. They were sprints basically, but they were called speed races and you would literally go like miles and miles and miles and the game would let you go at, <clears throat> at that time, uh, it lets you go at realistic speeds for these vehicles, these brands. And I had a Dodge Viper and it was my speed vehicle because you always get a vehicle and you tune it for uh, a certain type of uh, race certain type of contest and I had a Dodge Viper orange just like this it looked almost just like this uh, the the stripe in the middle was a bit bigger though and it like oh my god I would get so fast I'd have to slow down or I would just like I'd be in the desert on that one race and I would just like completely come up off the ground and just start flipping over and stuff and in that game like when you crash your car real bad you, you total it you have to pay for it and all that stuff and you don't get to use it for a while and yeah this brings me back memories with the orange coloring and yeah this is super cool i like this i'm gonna probably be biased at the end of this video just because this is bringing about bringing about some nostalgia for me okay obviously that, it's a bit extreme that front, that splitter, but yeah, I wish that was a better splitter for the back, but for some reason there isn't. Uh, don't know why, but it is what it is. Uh, but like I said, I want to keep it menacing, so I'm going to have that splitter. Yeah, I'm going to keep that splitter because it does look menacing. Hey, and I'm kind of going for a speed build, so I'll keep it. More aerodynamics. Okay. I mean, the, the ones at the top, like, they look the best, honestly, but, like, even the one with the... Yeah, they look great. They look better than the ones at the bottom, but I, I just, I gotta go for this big, extreme one. Uh, I'll probably go back to it, but I just want it so bad. Oh, uh, actually, that one, uh, She's 
But those are pretty extreme. I'm going to see how this works out here. So, if I want to do that, I might as well... Hmm. I mean, I wish it was a little bit... And it is the part, so... Well... I'm thinking about this. If I want to do the like the whole hood be carbon too, and then also the skirts, that would look sick. Maybe we'll have to see. Let's check it out here. Okay, so oh, so it makes the doors uh, that black color. I don't know if that's gonna match up too well with the carbon. It might actually look detailed and actually decent. So. Hold on a second here, guys. This is going to be a longer video than usual because I'm really backstepping here for my customization. I, I want to do it right when I do it. Oh, yeah. That, it matches well with the door color. Well, that's perfect. That color of the vinyl versus the, uh... yeah, that, that just goes together perfect. Okay, so next up, we're going to do the skirts. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, let's go back to that that uh, splitter. The extreme one. The one at the top, uh, the one at the carbon one at the top. That's uh, actually awful looking, but it's so extreme, but I got to do it just for old time's sake. Okay, now for the skirts. Make those carbon. Oh yeah, that looks sick. And I can only imagine. Um, I'm thinking about with this too, like just have some uh, some detailed wheels. It's like some brand wheels this time. Uh, imagine if they're white. Oh, they'd pop out so well. I don't want to make that entirely black. I just want it black in the middle like that. I wish it was a little bit more thinner, but then again, that's the part. It's the trunk, so there's not much I can do about that. It's not too bad as it is. It's very, it's a little bit rugged because it's the parts, but I like it. It makes it feel aerodynamic. Not to mention it's carbon, a bunch of carbon parts. It's probably super lightweight. Definitely a speed build, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. You know, I'm not too picky with wills. I mean, look, some of these look really good and it's, Hard for me to decipher which one I'm gonna choose. Especially the Viper too. It's like, what do I want with this thing? With the Banshee, with the Viper? Uh, sports maybe? No. Let's try, hold on. Yeah, muscle's cool, but no, definitely not tuner. Uh, Hold on a second. Let's see if we can find something that just really pops out. That's what I'm looking for. Something that just really pops out. I mean, these all look so good with it. That's the thing. Okay, let's try tracks. See if we find any... Probably not. I don't... Wait a minute. These don't look that bad. No, these don't look that bad at all. Wait a minute. This might be the one. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, nah, I, I, it, it, I don't want that for this, so, oh, wait, those look good. Oh, yeah, we're, oh, yeah, taking that, oh, yeah, definitely, all black, all black, that's perfect. That mixes so well with the carbon, it, wow, I'm about to know it. The whites, yes, that's so dope. All right, we're just about done here. Let's head out. Okay, so I made it all the way out here at the highway next to Polito. So we're going to go ahead and get out onto the highway here. Oh, make sure I don't hit anything while I'm in this camera view, this camera angle. Okay, now it's time to hear how this thing sounds real quick. Sounds good, sounds good.
I wish it sounded a little bit better than that. That's a bit generic, but I like it. Not too bad. Like, it's, it's not too bad of a sound. I like it. I'm happy with it. Okay, so one thing I know about this uh, Banshee, uh, this thing is not... Okay, when I had it, a normal Banshee, I can tell you the wheelbase, like th this thing would turn decently well. I mean, the, you guys know the regular Banshee is a known and appreciated drift car in the community. This thing, the upgraded Vinny's version, this thing don't turn. So we're starting off on the highway. I'm showcasing, check out the interior by the way, that looks dope. Uh, we're starting off the highway so I can show you the top speed on this thing, the acceleration and whatnot. Acceleration already can say, acceleration's pretty good. Uh, it's not the best, but it's pretty close to being the best. I mean, that's pretty good acceleration. Uh, don't have many cars that are that good at accelerating, so it'd be good at a drag. And uh, the top speed, the, the stats say this thing is an animal at top speed, but I can tell you on the highway, this thing is not that fast top speed wise. It's great, but it is not like a top contender. You're not gonna win uh, some pretty, uh, you're not gonna win a lot of races with this thing because it's not that, it's not as good as the stats say for its top speed. I mean, the top speed's good, but it is not as good as the stats say it is. Uh, either this thing got nerfed at some point or it's just lying. All right, so we're back into Los Santos, back into the city. The uh, reason I came back to the city is because I want to showcase to you guys some turns real quick. Let's try to get in between these guys. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the city here, the middle of the city, showcase how this thing turns. It turns absolutely horrendous. Uh, I had a problem with this with the Camaro, but it was more so a brake issue and an oversteer. This thing isn't a muscle car, and it turns awful this is probably the worst turning yeah that's just ridiculous worst turning of a vehicle i've ever experienced i'm going to go ahead and rank the banshee and finney's upgrade a uh seven out of ten i mean it's just it's all right nostalgia wise if you like the video make sure to like much appreciated if you dislike the video comment why you didn't like it dislike if you need to and make sure to stay tuned to my next videos for more car customizations and test drives thank you for watching take care